The difference between this fjord and the fjords that we have now is that this fjord's an inch and a quarter wide, where the new fjords are only an inch wide. This center screw comes out with a dime or a penny or a flathead screwdriver, and you just take that screw out and you can get to the internals of the reel. Next up, we have this really gorgeous, one of a kind, all gray hard coat fjord with gold finger tabs and blue handles and knob on the back. A back seven ceramic bearings. We have the Delta style hole pattern on the inside of the concave spool. This reel is now available. This is this one should go pretty quick, I would imagine. One of the last deltas with some color. That's a type <coughs> type two finish. This is a tangerine delta with custom acrylic handles. Black. Oh no, not black. This is a gray hard coat back plate, and it has the dome on it. This is a really special reel. So if you're looking for a delta sometime soon, and you don't want to wait for it, this is really an incredible reel. Great buy, hard coat back plate with a dome on it. Next, we're going to go to the red velvet boulder with a gunmetal spool. This is not a hard coat spool, but it's got the hard coat back plate. Really classic, old school looking, beautiful reel. All right, we're going to go to an all red velvet boulder fully hard coated here guys stunning reel it's got the salmon color accents on it never made one of these before it's definitely one of a kind another great deal we have is a constellation one with a nickel spool and black back plate i mean where are you going to find a reel that's made in the usa for three hundred dollars i mean look at this thing and the best part is it doesn't have a crappy clicker. So as you can see, it's got a really nice metal clicker. These two, are, um, these two feature the ceramic bearings. We also have a really nice revolver here. So nickel plated spool. We have a black back plate with Brandon Trefonico's artwork on the back. We're sending Brandon out one of those. Here's a really gorgeous reel. Absolutely beautiful. This is a gold accent on red velvet delta. Just stunning. With a dome back plate. This is a bulletproof reel. If you're looking for something that has some style to it, really unique that's bulletproof these are the ones to get guys all right let's go down the line here hard coat gray back plate delta red velvet spool all hard coat 100 percent stunning all right boulder black hard coat spool raul lopez artwork on the back Raul is from Michigan. He's one of our one of our Colville Precision Reel artists. He does great work. Look him up. Catback Designs. A real beauty gem here. Look at this, guys. And it's got a dome backplate. Oh yeah. All right. So we have a crushed iced finger tab on Deschutes Blue Fjord Three with a dome back plate. This is probably the only blue reel out there with a dome back plate. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's got gray, or I'm sorry, gunmetal accents. Stunning. This is a very beautiful simplified reel. This is a boulder featuring all type three hard coat anodizing in gray with steelhead blue accents. This was a really popular one, and I'm glad we have another one. 
It shouldn't last very long. Oh, it really shouldn't last long. I just picked this up and I forgot that this thing has a dome backplate. The dome backplate fits in your hand so nice. It really does. It's nice and snug in there. So this is a Boulder 5.0. It features camo handles. ABAC 7 ceramic hybrid bearings. Nice heavy duty clicker. This is a beautiful reel, guys. Scoop that up before it's gone. All right, up next, a Boulder black and purple with a Purple Heart backplate. Check that out. So this Purple Heart should hold up pretty well. It's got a lifetime warranty, so if it doesn't hold up, we'll take care of it for you, give you something else, swap the backplate out. But this has a nice dome backplate. Real comfy, a little bit of finish on it. Nice and warm. It's amazing. You pick these reels up, you can just feel how warm, warm the back plates are that are a different material. Up next, another really classy reel. This is an all, all red velvet <clears throat> boulder. It's got a really cool anodizing ring in the center, too. That really gives it a super neat halo-style look. And this features that copper uh, copper finish. It's not the same as the reels we have coming out that has the the copper anodizing. This is actually copper plated. So it should patina slightly, I think. Um, I haven't seen too many of too many of these that have the copper plating, so I don't know what happens, but it should get a pretty cool look to it over time. Really just a stunning reel. All right, we have an all hard coat gray boulder with lemon yellow accents. We have a steelhead blue backplate with a, is that gum metal or hard coat? Let's look here. I gotta take the camera away for a second. I'm going to go ahead and say that's gunmetal and not hard coat, although it might be hard coat. I don't want to try scratching it to find out, but I won't charge you for the hard coat on the spool because I don't know if it is. Next up, we have a unbelievable reel here. This is a Fjord 3 with a Delta porting on the concave spool. Steelhead blue finger tabs all and handles and center cap. And we have a dome backplate with the on and off switch is a steelhead blue. This reel is stunning. This is going to turn some heads. This is classy looking. Absolutely gorgeous. Another really unique reel we have at a great deal is this Constellation. Again, it's a one series nickel spool green backplate. Now, when I talk about the new feet, guys, the thing I'm talking about, this is an old style foot. As you can see, it's kind of got some sharper edges on it. So when me <clears throat> me and uh, the team from American Glory, which is Tony and John Shortino, um, when we linked up, they had some feet that were kind of sharp and pointy like this. We have streamlined our feet, and they have gone to the original Colville style foot which is like this. So all of our reels from here on out are going to have this nice pretty foot that's got the rounded edges and the the uh, different radiuses on it. Absolutely beautiful. Really well made. Don't want to show you that one yet, but we're going to skip over and we're going to do this beautiful reel. Again, 225 First come, first serve, guys. Call me. 225 bucks. This is a golden black splash with copper handles. This one is going to Michael Hacker of Death Row. Look at that beauty. Man, strong clicker. Woo! Mike, you're going to like this reel. Wow. Awesome startup. Mike, you're going to love that guy. It's going to good hands. I know that. All right, we have this guy too. There's one left. I was completely sold out. I'm lucky we had a couple left in the shop. This one has a really light scratch there, but for 225, you're not going to find a better reel. We have a hard coat boulder, 
steelhead blue accents. And we have another one of these $300 specials here. This has the red and gray swirled acrylic. That's just money. Black back plate. And we have another trichrome over there. So just standard green. It is the only reel we have with a green back plate for the trichrome. So get on it. All right, guys, if you haven't heard, we got uh, we got some special stuff coming out. Um, this is our newest reel right now, and there's a whole model. This thing has, I'm really trying to push this. It's hard to do with one hand, but this thing is like ultra beast mode clicker. This one's called the Katana. It's going to feature Raul Lopez artwork. I'll show you it really quick because it is so darn cool. Take you to the front of the store. My poor sim section is down to the bare minimum here. What I will tell you, though, is Sims just came out with a bunch of really cool new stuff. New packs, the Freestone packs and backpacks. We'll have all that stuff in stock for you. Just come check it out uh, next week. The order's on its way. If you want to get a really cool box for your reel, we have these available. You could also get them custom etched with photos or a message if you want to get a gift to somebody. Some really great stuff coming out of Coville Outfitters right now. Here's one of those boxes. Boom, reel inside. Going to a friend of mine. All right, back to the Katana artwork. Boom. Raul Lopez, thank you, sir. This is a just a gorgeous design. This laser etching has the gray shades in it. The, the actual etching doesn't, but this one does. So it's a samurai on top of a steelhead that goes with the whole theme of the katana. Really, really cool. The other artwork that Raul did for us... The new Leviathan. We have two different ones now. We have the Usneel Santos Leviathan, similar concept, and then we have the Raul Lopez Leviathan. You can see Raul's signature right there. Raul is from Lansing, Michigan. We like to support them local guys. The new Leviathans we have coming out, they will have a separate bearing housing, separate hub like the original Paragons did, so we'll be able to swap out your your hub for you at any point there won't be any preloading of the bearings because we already did that for you here is another cool design with some gray some gray fading in it with the laser which is kind of tough to do but my guys at the laser etcher did it this is from my friend Jim Jim Hembry at Magnum Rods. So we can do some custom etching for you guys. Standard is about 50 bucks. A real it would be a little bit extra if we get real crazy with it. But if you send your artwork in, it's 50 bucks to get something custom. All right, before I go through some of the products, I do want to show this to you guys again because it is just so stunning. So we're going to have the same, same reel... Ugh. Same reel on the Dreamcatcher, the Paragon 2, um, the, let's see, Dreamcatcher, Paragon 2, Shadow Drifter, Dropback, um, Delta, and the Seamstress. So we'll have a bunch of really cool reels for you guys. Really great artwork um, featuring a lot of stuff from Trevor Hawkins. If you guys haven't checked out Trevor Hawkins, He's from Australia. Unbelievable artist. I wish I had some of his artwork on the back of this right now, but this is just a plain, classy-looking reel. Black with blue accents. Stunning. Really easy. Like Unlike the other clickers, this one, it's not positioned as low. It's more towards the center. Really easy to turn on and off. Turn it till it clicks, and you can see the startup. Really nice, easy startup here. Look how cool that is. 
Bet you've never seen a center pin like that. Whoa. This is the size, the size of this one, actually, I'm sorry, is 5.35 inches. This is the 535 series. It's got our textured rim. We originally didn't want, um, we originally wanted a little extra weight on these, so we didn't port the, uh, the spool down there, but the line can dry through these outside holes here, so you're plenty fine. We like a little bit more weight on our reels, so that's where we could get it back at. Um, pretty much everything in the future after this batch will have a ported spool here we're going to streamline all our reels after this batch this is probably our last one that is going to be separate from the different clicker styles and spool style we're just going to go to either a concave style spool like in the fjords or we're going to do just a regular flat style like this um everything's going to be streamlined with a dome back plate i mean we're talking we're talking in at least a year but just want to tell just want to tell you guys what's up and coming all right so what's left that's available all right let's take a look here we have a fjord 2 pacific northwest pine spool and back plate with gold accents we got a beautiful fjord 3 with purple finger tabs i'm sorry purple spool with black and white swirled finger tabs black back plate i cannot believe this reel is still left but it is this is a fjord 3 steelhead blue with gold i could really feel it spinning in my hand super nice we have a blue boulder. We don't have a lot of blue boulders out there. I'm very surprised that one's left. I'm actually surprised a lot of these are left. This is a Fjord 3 gunmetal and purple with a purple heart back plate. Really pretty, classy looking. And acrylic finger tabs. We have a Fjord 3 with gunmetal finger tabs and a gunmetal back plate with crushed ice handles we have another fjord that's deschutes blue with crushed ice finger tabs hard coat gray back plate we have a big old a lot of inquiries on this but didn't sell this yet so for 400 bucks you want a nice big salmon reel this is a big heavy clicker uh, five and a half inch with acrylic handles purple spool it's a Poseidon pretty plain back plate I'll get to those ones later we do have a nickel and black revolver we have a chrome and black constellation. We have an all hard coat gray Fjord 3 with salmon colored finger tabs and accents. This one I believe is sold, so I'm not even going to go over that one with you guys. This is a all hard coat red velvet with nickel accents. We have a Pacific Northwest pine with gold accents. We have a Pacific Northwest Pine with nickel accents. And I'm going to go show you over here what I got. And that will be the end for reels. This reel is stunning. This is Pacific Northwest Pine with copper finger tabs. Very unique. Gorgeous. Check it out. Comes with free line and backing. Michael Hacker went with the blue and white chromosome so this one is now available again it's a first come first serve on all these guys and then we have a Pacific Northwest Pine Fjord 3 with the Delta style concave spool and a lemon yellow back plate gorgeous all right let's show you guys some new products that we have uh, at the shop by the way guys if you haven't got a trichrome you should buy one they are gonna be gone forever and uh, it's really a cool piece in center pin history. You can talk about the time that marijuana was illegal in the United States. That's going to be over very soon. Thank God. Not that I'm, uh, not that I partake in it, but it's um, 
It is just so stupid. Alcohol is illegal. Or, I'm sorry, alcohol is legal, but marijuana is not. Uh, I don't get it. I actually do get it, but... I can't believe it's gone on for this long. Okay, so what do we got going on? Enough about my politics here. So what's my favorite soft plastic beads? I got two brands I like the most. I got Steelhead Stalkers and Death Row. Death Row is made in right over here in Seneca Falls, New York. And Steelhead Stalkers are made in Oregon. And they're both fishermen, so they know what's up. Um, Chad Wilson from Steelhead Stalkers, he's a big-time fisherman. He fishes his own products. That's how we are able to improve our product, which is the rods and reels. So that is why Chad continues to make a superior product that constantly improves from the other soft plastics. So we're going to look at what he's got for worms here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, like a clear bubblegum worm. Just killer. Here we do have the bubblegum. Three-inch microworms. I like the steelhead stalker plastic because... It's soft and it moves around a lot, but yet it's durable. Here we have that awesome pearlescent, iridescent nightcrawler look. We have just an awesome pearl orange. Oh, God. I would eat that. We have this ice blue peach worm. This is a killer. I've caught a lot of fish on that. Ooh, ice blue Charisse. Is that what this is? It's amazing. I don't know the color, but it's amazing. All available at Coville Outfitters, courtesy of Steelhead Stalkers. And now, we all know that pink worms and natural color worms work good. But if you don't know, you should really check out his soft plastic baits. You can call me at Coville Outfitters. My phone number is 627-REAL. That's 716-627-7335. So this is actually a soft plastic bead. This is new. This is like a modeled style. So this looks like uh, this is a sucker spawn, a modeled sucker spawn. The SS3, I think is Super Secret 3. But I mean, look at that bead. I crush them on that bead. When eggs are in the water for, you know, a couple minutes, they start to turn that white color. So that's very natural, even though we tend to like the, the ones that look like they came right out of the fish. I mean, just look at this peach, guys. Oh, my God. Once you get that little... So I peg these with this little red bead here. You know, I get a lot of questions with guys asking how I peg them and there's a few different ways I have another video where I show I just run the line through these little beads three times and make some adjustments tie my hook on hook the bead slide it up and over and I got a blood dot so what uh so now these feel more durable than the previous batches of eggs or beads and Chad I saw um said he made some improvements to the plastic so the bead didn't slip off the little pegging stopper bead here which that is the number one complaint on soft plastics but i'll say i'd rather a bead that i can change all the time without cutting my line and re-pegging a bead and tying on another hook every time i want to change colors and size i'd rather just unhook it and put on another color or another size and boom i'm good to go so along with that, we have the classic colors, the steelhead orange, the amber, but he's also got this line of pearlescent beads. Ooh, so that's like a pearlescent peachy orange color. You know that's going to be a killer. You can see in here he's got pearlescent yellow, like a pearlescent sucker spawn, which sucker spawn is my favorite color of his lineup for my home waters. He's got pearlescent orange, pearlescent pink. Ooh, what do we got there? We got like a mottled yellowy chartreuse. We got pearlescent chartreuse. Oh my God, get out of here. Oh God, guys. Get in on this stuff. Mottled pink, mottled orange, pearlescent peach. Oh God. 
If you haven't checked out SteelheadStalkers.com, check him out over there. He's got great products. We sell them all here at Koval Outfitters. He also makes amazing carbon fiber grips and real seats and stuff like that. It's CFX Composites. Um, Chad's really on the up and up for center pinning in the West Coast. Check him out. All right, let's go over to our other awesome box of stuff from another huge center pinning company. Oh, yeah. Center pin angling floats. Check these out. They're a nice loafery, loaferish style float. Real high visibility. Um, these are the streamlined floats from Center Pin Angling. Great float. That's an 11 gram, guys. You should check them out. I got them here at Coville Outfitters. Just order them. You can order them through me. Just give me.